Hey, what is up guys? Bongan here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a beat in k of Band Lab. This is the second part of a series that I started yesterday. Check out that video if you haven't already, the link in the description. But let's just get right into it. I don't want to waste your guys' time. You guys already know where we're picking off from. We're picking off from all of the melody stuff. And I'm just trying to give you as many details as possible when using Cakewalk. Let's get into it. Woo! Okay, so you're going to need a sampler if you want to do drums and Cakewalk. And there's not one built in, so I'm gonna link to a video right up here in the top right, and it's gonna be about how to get a sampler into Cakewalk for Band Lab. So after you've gotten the complete control sampler into Cakewalk, you're, you're gonna want to open it up and then find actually the where you have the samples saved on your computer somewhere. And then inside of whatever sample pack you have, find your 808 and just choose an 808 that sounds good to you. That one sounds pretty cool to me. And then that's going to the 808 section. So what I recommend you do is in this right panel that you probably can't see because of my face cam, I recommend you click on the track that you have the melodies on and like look at what you have the melody on. And then hover over all of your bass notes of the chords and then push copy by holding command C and then click back onto your 808 channel and hit command V to paste the root notes of the chords onto that track. And just like that, your 808 pattern is a little bit boring, but there it is. And then what I recommend you do is extend all the notes out so they all cut each other and they're all as far as they length they can. And then go into complete control and actually change this one shot kind of thing. Instead of having it just on one shot, change it to ADSR and then turn the release all the way down to the lowest you can go. Okay, so now we're gonna move on from the 808s just because I wanna show you the claps. Don't worry, we're gonna be adding more to the 808s later. Get out a clap you like and hit Alt-3. If you count these vertical lines here, we have one, two, three. And those are like the beats of the measure. So we have the first beat, second beat, and third beat. Always place this on the third beat. So this is the second measure. Beat one, beat two, beat three. Beat one, beat two, beat three. Beat one, beat two, beat three. Okay, so your clap pattern is fine, but your 808 pattern isn't that great. So I want you to do is click on your 8 track and then also control click on your 7 track. So you can see your 808 track and your clap track at the same time. And now what you can notice is that your claps and your 808 sometimes hit on the same beat. So what I want you to do is I want you to right click and drag over the notes that overlap and move them back by one. And let's also move this one back by one. Fill in the empty spaces with your extensions of the keys. And I'm also gonna add a syncopation kind of note right here. I'm also gonna add one here. Okay, now push the plus sign again and get out another complete control and we're gonna make a kick. And as you go along, there's gonna be sounds that you just like remember what they sound like and you know they always sound good. So this is that's one of those for these kicks and I'm gonna copy the 808 track down to the kick track So what I do is I click on the 808s I hold control and I drag to the kick track Which is the lowest one now at this point we're getting quite a few tracks on this list So why don't we actually change the color of them if you click on the melody track like you right on the left side You can see the track color change the track color to like blue Which is what I usually change it to and just change all of your melodies to one color I'm gonna change my 808 to purple and I'm gonna change all of my drums to green now It's a lot easier just to understand what it's doing Also on your kick track, I recommend that you drag all of the notes down to C5. And just now we have a pretty simple pattern, let's go into the hi-hats. Okay, so once you find a hi-hat that you want to use, instead of hitting Alt-3 to open up the mini view, I actually want you to click on your hi-hat track in this like empty area and hit Alt-4. Oh, that's to open up the step sequencer. Hit Shift-D to make it full screen. Now there's going to be a lot of steps here, but I want to make this as simple as possible for you guys. So what I want you to do is I want you to delete a whole bunch of X's so we have only one track left. Then click on this 36 and change it to a 60. So now it says C5 in this little note thing. Now it changes the beats to 1. And it's only going to show you one measure. So now place one on the first beat and then one on the third beat. Then hit this little um, arrow sign. And if you want to, change the velocity. Now that I drag this to the beginning of your loop, click on it once and then hit Control D a whole bunch of times. And that continues to copy it over until you're to the end. And then let's listen to it. Okay, 
it's not it's crazy simple you can actually change around this velocity and you can get like different effects now, now highlight all your hi-hats right click and push bounce to clips so that all of them are in your midi view and if you highlight over them and then hit alt c on your keyboard it's gonna open up the velocity window and you can kind of see da, 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 da. Just like that, just like you had before. Okay, so now click on your first note, and then let's have a little bit of roll here. So how da da da. Now we're gonna play some notes that are low down here to accent where we want it to kind of kind of have like a more of an accented feel. I don't know. Now at this point I'm going to continue on because I want to teach you all of the fundamentals but I want you to realize that as you get more advanced as you keep practicing as you do more and more beats per day um, you're going to be getting more um, creative with your melodies and your hi-hats and your kicks and your patterns and all that kind of stuff. I'm showing you the very 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 basics right now which is why this beat kind of sounds safe. I don't necessarily want you to play it safe all the time. I want you to be creative. I want you to think about new things and do new things. Now I'm going to show you a little trick about how I do my percussions that totally changed how I make percussions. Um, click on your track, hit alt four, and we're going to change one of these notes to 60 and place it at the very beginning. Change this to like a one. doesn't really matter. D in your keyword, just to get rid of that. Now you have just this one little note that you can drag around wherever you want. So let's say we want this note to be like right around here. And what we did there is we just held control wherever we wanted to drag this new note to. What I used to do when I first started is I was always using my keyboard and I'd be like, hit record and then I just play my perks in how I wanted it to. And that was okay. Like, I'm not saying that's a bad option. You can also um, use the same way you did with like the chords. You can literally draw in every single note where you want it to be. And that's okay too. That's perfectly fine. I personally really like this way because it's nice and quick. It's nice and easy. And also if I want to change the sound, let's say I wanted to change it to more of a rim shot kind of sound. Here's like a what rim shot sound. Now we listen to it now. Some people recommended to me that I drag in audio clips. Like I literally have the audio file moved around, but I just felt like if you wanted to change the auto clip while you're mixing or something like that, you don't have really the option to do that. And that's why I like this version better. Okay. So now I'm going to make another perk. So I'm going to do something. Click on the number 11, which is the perk track. I'm going to hit this little duplicate track button up here. And then we're going to change, we're going to click this little synth button here and we're going to change the sound that we're using. And then you can make another one of these little As you can see, you have the master track, the metronome track, the preview track like I talked about before. You also have this bus D, which is your melody bus, which is what we were talking about earlier. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually right click, I'm gonna put an insert stereo bus. And this insert stereo bus is gonna be called reverb. Now I have this little plus sign here and we're gonna insert a reverb effect. So I have a couple of reverb effects. I'm gonna use the reverb just because it's built into Cakewalk. And now what you wanna do on this track is actually turn down the dry all the way down to zero. If you wanna use this reverb effect, click on a perk that you think needs it. Go to here and push plus on the sends and then click on reverb. And then you can actually change this to kind of determine how much reverb you want. And then you can actually turn, so you can turn this knob to see how much level you want. So let's see if we have it off, we have it down like this. Then turn up, it sounds like this.
Now, the convenient part about that is that now that we have a good reverb track, we can click on our clap, for example, and we can push a plus reverb, and then we automatically have some reverb on our claps. And it automatically adds some reverb to your tracks, and it's very, very simple, very, very quick and easy to use. And I have that built into my main template so that every time I open it up, I already have a reverb track ready and I can just slap on a reverb whenever I need it. Now I want to show you the draw tool. So I'm going to click on the Hyatt track. I'm going to hit the duplicate button again. Then I hit all three of my keyboard to open up the midis and then go into the Hyatt track, hit T on your keyboard and select the draw tool. Now you can see this little 16th note up here. Right click on the 16th note and change it to like 64th note. And then if you have your draw tool selected, you can just go like this. You can just draw notes in wherever you want. So now listen to your beat and think about when it needs a roll. Tab one. Tab one right there. A mad one like this. Duh. Duh. Then we have another one here. I'm also going to have one right at the very beginning, just to kind of axe in the downbeat. Now hover over your um, piano keys and just make sure you can select everything and then hit alt C if your mid if your velocity window isn't already open. And then you can kind of drag in where you want the velocities to be like. So oftentimes I'll do something like this, have it even more steep. Okay, so I played it really safe in this beat. It's not a very interesting beat, but we're gonna start arranging now so I can kind of show you how that works. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to use our selection tool and we're going to delete all of the excess stuff, especially in the audio kind of form. And then hit Control A on your keyboard to select everything, right click and hit bounce to clips. And then all of your MIDI down here that was all separate cl clips before is now all in one clip. And then as you can see, we also do have this little overhang over here. Let's just delete that. And there we go. Now everything is exactly four bars long. Then you can control D in your keyboard and it'll just duplicate it over. We're going to duplicate it over until we're about a, a minute and six seconds in. Doesn't have to be exactly that. And then we're going to do some arranging. So for arranging, I usually cut out the kick and the 808 for the first two um, loops. We're also going to cut out the drums for the first loop. Let's get out some percussions in the second loop. And then now this is kind of like the drop. So let's have a little bit of a break here. So we're just like breaking and then going to the drop. Then we have the drop here. Let's transpose some of the stuff up an octave. So, so now we just go in the transpose thing, change this to radius mix advanced. So that finishes our drop. Now we're gonna go into the verses. So I'm gonna take out the rolling hi-hats now, get rid of two of the perks, um, get rid of the kicks. Um, and then let's also get rid of some of these melody sounds. So why don't we just get rid of the voices and the xylophone sound and now now we can have the kick come in but we're going to cut it out every once in a while so there's more variation and then let's cut out the hi-hats and stuff like that at the very end of the verse so we're kind of dropping into the drop and then let's do some transposing again a little bit more transposing this time let's do transpose four different elements now i kind of breezed through that and didn't really explain too much of what i was doing but once you get in the hang of it like it's literally going to be like the same every single time so if you just kind of listen to this beat we can actually kind of hear where we want to cut things in and out So just listen to your beat and kind of think where you have too many things going on. Cut out that.
also gonna cut out my drums at first. I was like, And then just like that, we have basically our entire first half of the song arranged. Let's hit control A to select everything. Hit control D to copy it over one more time. And then for the outro, we can have just copy over the reverse sounds. Um, let's copy over the keys and the pads. Maybe even in fact, for some variation, um, I'm going to cut out the chords for the first like recapitulation of the drop. And then also for the intro of the song, I'm gonna cut out the chords. And now that I think about it, let's turn down the chords a little bit. So this beat isn't that amazing. I played pretty safe on the beat and I could have done a lot better if I wasn't like so constantly focused on the tutorial side of this video. But I hope this video helped you. I hope that this can give you enough inspiration to get started on your first beat. I want you to make your best song you can and just keep going, keep going. Um, if you really like this video, hit the like button. If you really like hit the subscribe button. Join the community, I'm so happy about um, all of the growth we've had recently. It's really been a blessing to me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later. Woo!